I just bought the new relic tower for 1,500 Robux, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, that was my budget for the giveaways that I was listening to Todd Finks and so I apologize, but I will have to cancel the premium pass giveaways. I am so sorry I am out of Robux. But anyways, here is the new insane and kind of buggy relic tower in TDX. So, level 0 spawns these little bandits who don't really do much, but to be fair, this was only $500. Level 1 just upgrades them a bit, as you can see here. Level 2 also just upgrades them a bit. The third level gives archers, which are going to do a lot more than the bandits. The fourth gives the warden with 1500 HP, pretty good value for how much you've spent on this thing, honestly. But then, the fifth level makes this the most expensive tower in the game, being $400,000. And it gives you a 150,000 HP unit. This really reminds me of the graveyard from Tower Battles, and this is pretty much the main focus point of the unit. I mean, just look at it running down this lane and smashing all the enemies up. Hold on, did it just regenerate? Yeah, this tower is currently bugged. Basically, it spawns with like 40k HP, but don't be fooled because it still has its intended 150k HP. It's just sort of a visual bug because whenever the 40k runs out, it gives the rest 100k back to you. So you may think, oh okay, just a visual bug, but no, it actually can affect gameplay. As you can see here, it runs into the Eradicator Mark II and it should have killed it, but it didn't, so yeah, there's that. If I had to give a review of this tower, it honestly does not seem that good. The 150,000 HP sounds like an insane amount, but you also spent an insane amount of $400,000 in one spending. Yeah, it is just insane. The lower levels might find some usage because of how cheap they are for what they do, but other than that, I might have wasted my Robux. So, peace out guys, have a good day.